when I had the first girlfriend in my life, I call her to my place. <laughs> and you know, a girl, boys and girls in Uganda, when a girls come to a boys' place, boys always know that girls need sex the first day they come. But for me, I did not do that simply because I don't want the infection is to go to her or to maybe give my, my disease to her. So I refused the sex for that night and we slept without sex. And in the morning, she woke up and then began to ask me, why was I thinking like that? She told me clear that if, even though any situation I'm fearing to tell her, I should tell her, she's going to understand. So I thought her, that you know, I'm HIV positive. So that's why I did not have sex with you, simply because I don't want to infect you. But she was saying that, you know, I also know that the other people can stay with a friend or with a, they can stay in a family when the other one is positive and the other one is negative. I also say, yes, I also know that. <laughs> and you know what? <laughs> For, for, for a patient to know that one, it might be somebody who has gone uh, through HIV AIDS education and maybe has a little bit knowledge. Then I begin thinking my, in my mind that maybe if she is not positive, then she might be taking care of somebody who is positive. Then I began to tell her my stories. Let she accept to stay with me, that she's going to stay with me. And the following day, she bought she brought for me one box of condoms. So we just stay with her, with her for some time, but the only way that we separated is that she wanted to come straight to me and stay as a, as a husband and wife, but of which I refuse, simply because I'm not stable financially, or I did not even have any employment, uh, being employed monthly. So there's problems I have. I need to sort it out first so that before we, we stay, we, are, we stay together. In prevention methods in Uganda, they came out with, a, with ABC, that is abstinent, and then be faithful to your single and one partner, and then using condoms every time correctly. So abstinence is for young people and being faithful is for elder or maybe people in the house as husband and wife and even condom use. For my life, I, I, I used to abstain. I only what broke my virginity in last year, in 2009, when I was 18, yes. Even HIV AIDS is very difficult, and that's why we always talk about abstinence. With abstinence, you can avoid getting HIV AIDS. Abstinence, it is free of charge. The first thing is that you, if you are to use condom, but if you have no money and you, you are sexually active and maybe your, your desire for sex is very high, you may end up going for sex life or going for sex unprotected sex. And abstinence is good. Simply, it, it has no harm. With condom, you need to take other precautions where the don'ts and the do's are there. And there are other girls who don't want to use what condom, more especially boys. They never wanted to use condom. And that's why people talk about the advantage of abstinence.